Serious, garbage men of Reddit. Have you ever found anything that was so sketchy you reported it to the police? What was it? I wasn't a driver but a mechanic on garbage trucks for a large municipality. In my 4 years in that department we had to dump fully loaded trucks on the ground 2 times and spread out the load looking for a body. Found one once. I decided not to look at it, I think I made the right choice. Former sanitation department supervisor. My guys called me frantic one day after an explosion in the hopper of the truck. Thankfully no one was injured. But I called the fire department and police always come on fire calls too. Turns out they had been watching the house we were in front of because the guy was cooking him. He threw away some of the ingredients and the pressure when it compacted caused it to explode. The best part was the fact that the guy sat out front watching the show in a bathrobe. He eventually got dressed and came back out. When he was arrested he had drugs in his pants. Apparently he didn't own any pants without drugs in the pockets. The only thing I brought to the police's attention were a bunch of brass World War 1 and World War 2 grave marker medallions I found in the recycle bins. Hopefully they went back to where they belonged. I used to manage garbage men in Oakland. Routinely found dead animals, remnants of large marijuana harvests, and weapons. Once we found a rejected prosthetic limb. Also, pretty regularly, the FBI will have a trash company pick up the trash of someone under investigation so they can go through it. I spent some years in the trash recycling industry. I remember a guy at a metal recycling center trying to cash in bronze great headstones. He was arrested. NYC sanitation worker here. I have seen just about everything you can imagine. Dead animals such as dogs and cats are thrown out like everyday trash. We are required to just take them and the police are not notified at all. One time, my partner and I saw huge amounts of blood leaking from multiple trash bags that we had just thrown into the truck. We called our supervisor and he looked at it and just said keep going. It could have been anything. I have also seen plenty of drug paraphernalia being thrown out. Thousands of little plastic bags, scales and plenty of white powder all over the place. One single incident sticks with me. Me and my partner were called to a location that was far away from our regular route one day. He met our supervisor at the location. I ask him what's up. He points to a tree we were standing near. He says look up. I look up and see a huge mass hanging in the tree about 20 feet off the ground. I couldn't really make out what it was but it was dark and about 3x3 feet big. Turns out, it was a huge pile of dead rats all tied together in a big mass. The police and fire department showed up about 5 minutes later. The fire department had to use a ladder to get to the branch and cut it down. When it hit the ground with a thud, the smell was so bad that us, the PD and FD all backed up very quickly. Me and my partner had the pleasure to grab this thing and toss it into the truck. There had to be between 50-75 dead rats on this thing. We asked the police what it was all about and they said most likely a form of religious sacrifice. I've been working for the sanitation department for 14 years and that had to be the nastiest thing I have ever seen. I'll never forget the smell. Forgot to mention that it was probably about 90 degrees that day and god knows how long that thing was hanging around. Never found any body parts in 35 years, but I was requested by the ATF to pick up the trash at one home and pull around the corner and let the special agent in charge take the trash bags and put them in his black Chrysler 300 undercover car. This happened for several weeks in a row. Never did find out what they were looking for. I ran a large trash hauling company in South Georgia for 3 years. The amount of sketchy things thrown away is innumerable. I can't tell you how many times hospitals threw their bio waste out to save on disposal fees. It got so bad the landfill ended up reporting them. That's just the ones we saw who knows how many weren't caught. Wasn't criminal but should have been was the amount of good things Walmart and other retailers threw away. You return something due to scratchy TC and it doesn't sell they have to throw it away. Tools. TVS. Computers. Clothes. Toys ETC some not even out of the box. All of it in working condition but they had to throw it out to write it off is what I was told. I worked with a trash hauling company for good old Kentucky a while back. I cannot count how many times I found them making ingredients and other odds and ends in the same bag accompanied with a super strong smell. It was blatant obvious and always ended with a bust. I was a garbage man while attending community college. I once found a litter of puppies in someone's garbage bag. 
I grabbed the bag as I normally would and tossed it in the back of the truck. A few moments later I heard a soft crying that freaked me out once I realized it was coming from the truck. I ripped through a bunch of bags until I found 5 beagle puppies covered in something awful and crying. After gaining my composure I found a big plastic bowl and filled it with newspaper and put all the puppies in and called the cops. Had to provide a statement and show up to a court hearing. The guy plead guilty and paid a fine. Not sure how much. He said he believed they were all stillborn. As a garbage truck mechanic the most fricked up thing we found was the hamburger like leftovers of a woman one of our trucks hit all over the mud flaps and splattered all over the place. Driver didn't even notice, just came on back to the yard. We only found the truck after a manager heard a local news report of a garbage truck involved in a fatal accident with a pedestrian. It was a fun day. I've worked in a recycling plant for years. You wouldn't believe some of the things we find coming down the line. Last week we found a garbage bag filled with rotten meat and loose needles with no caps. When this happens, we stop the conveyor and call the boss up to safely collect the hazardous material and take pictures. Based on some mail that was in the bag, management was able to find the exact place it was picked up from. I'm not sure there's much they can do about it, but they should be able to call the police for something like that. One time we found a guy's ashes in one of the standard plastic tubs funeral homes give out. His information was still on the side. When management contacted the family to try and have the tub picked up, it turned out that they threw the poor dude out on purpose. He must have been a real butthole, or the only one in the family who wasn't. I work for a junk removal company. One time, we went into this guy's house to take out some old furniture, including a large desk. We finish, drive to the transfer station, and dump our load. When the desk comes sliding out and hits the concrete, it breaks apart and lo and behold, a 357 Magnum revolver comes tumbling out. Being from Canada, this is fairly unusual and a pretty illegal way to store your restricted firearm. So I called the cops and left it with the dump people because we had a schedule to keep. I never heard anything more about it, surprisingly. I work at a rubbish and recycling transfer station. Thought I had a good score one day when I picked up a computer with some pretty good specs. Took it home and was having a ball investigating it, until I found some indecent images. Indecent images of children. The missus reckons I've never gotten that angry so quick. I wrote down the file path and took it straight to the cop shop. Last I heard there had been a few arrests. They used the computer's browser history and whatnot to make more than one arrest. Pricks lucky I didn't find him first. Two of my closest friends were roommates and just moved into a new apartment in Youngstown, Ohio. The first several days after moving in, they would stand outside their door, smoke cigarettes and drink beer next to their personal garbage container. Each time they would finish a beer or a cigarette, they would open the garbage container and quickly throw away their butt or can because the smell of the garbage was so awful. One morning they awoke to the garbage man pounding on the door. When they opened the door, he asked are you aware there is a dead lady in your garbage container. They had to go outside and attempt to identify her. Although neither knew of the lady. They told me she was nude. Wrapped in a sleeping bag. African American and seemed malnourished. Authorities mentioned that she was probably on drugs pretty bad. Overdosed with some people. Then the people dropped her off in their garbage can. Former wastewater treatment plant operator. Sewage treatment. In Virginia I never called the police myself over something found in the plant but I did find some crazy things. Once I found several female student IDs from the large university in town. Emailed all of the girls. One responded and retrieved all the IDs. Not too crazy except a few years later we find out there was a serial killer who preyed on 18 24 year olds in the area. I never saw any type of id or credit card so close together in the screenings and it always made me wonder how they got there. Worked as a garbage man for the city department one summer because a guy quit. Originally I was only there to mow grass and whatnot around town. In Iho, we received a call from the mayor one day that we needed to go pick up this evicted tenant stuff from an apartment. When we arrived there were clothes everywhere, a bed, some other furniture, and a couch. When going to help a few guys lift the bed and couch, I had noticed empty vials laying around. I told my co-workers to be cautious as I knew there was a possibility of needles being in the furniture. After taking a closer look, 
This guy had shoved dirty needles down in his couch and bed in hopes of someone picking it up and getting stabbed. Needless to say, I did not touch anything else on that run.